Remove these four bolts with a 10 millimeter ratchet. Remove this screw with a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Lift off your seat. Remove your floor mat. Remove these two Phillips screws. Remove this air hose. Remove these five eight uh, millimeter bolts. Remove the valve cover. There's no need to remove the large hose on uh, the bottom of the valve cover. Uh, just set it off to the side. Remove the fan cover. There's four 8 millimeter bolts that hold it on. At the last one I'll point to is a fifth one and it only needs to be loosened but not actually all the way removed. On the yellow steel there is a T. Line that up with the small fin that sticks out from the casting. This should kind of rock into place. If it doesn't you need to turn in an additional 300 and 60 degrees and it should lock into place. I've put a 0.05 millimeter feeler gauge in between the valve screw and the valve. This is what you'll be adjusting. You want it to be somewhere between 0.03 to 0.05. I've seen manuals that say anywhere in between there. You want it to be snug but not tight. To make this adjustment, use a 9mm wrench to loosen the nut that's holding the screw in place. Then turn the screw to increase or decrease the space in between the head of the screw and the valve. Then tighten up the nut and be careful to make sure that the screw does not turn while you're tightening the nut. Then check again to make sure you have the proper gap. Then do your exhaust valve and put it back together. The two shorter screws that hold the valve cover on go in these two holes.